everyone, uh, welcome to another video. In this video, it's a torch review. It's uh, the review of the Bryanite Artemis T28. Uh, I've done a field test of this, so I'm not going to go over too many specs because if you look on YouTube, you'll see lots and lots of uh, specification videos. Essentially, it's a hunting torch, it's tri colour, so you can switch between green, white, and red. Uh, it comes with a little bit of kit. So you've got your usual rat tail. And you have a battery and a USB charger. So basically that goes into any any USB style plug and that just plugs into your mains. You literally HDMI cable here. And you can see it, there's a little slot there on your battery. So that just goes in. It'll fit either way, so you don't have to worry about getting it the wrong way around. Plug that into your plug, plug into the charger. And at this end, there's a little light that indicates when it's charging and when it's fully charged. Simple to use. This is quite a strong battery. I think battery life's going to be around about three hours. I think that's continuous use. But as an hunter, when I'm out in field, it torches on and off. So that should last you for a full session easily. Simple, put your battery in. Connect your end back up, just twists on. This is made out of aircraft grade aluminium. Really sturdy, really well put together. Only fault is this little extender on end here. When it's fully extended, it's got a bit of a wobble to it, but it's not a big deal because you wind it back a little bit and it's solid enough for what we use. A little knob on end here, you just hold that in for 30 seconds. You see torch lights come on. Just seeing where you can see that. And you've got on end here, this is a dimming switch. So you can turn your brightness up, your intensity of your beam, and you can reduce it down to virtually nothing. As I mentioned before, it's a tri-colour torch, which is a patented technology. Basically got three pills built into one in end. So that's red. Switch it once, it goes to white again. Intensity of beam can differ to whatever your choice is. And then green. You can focus your beam by twisting this end piece left and right. Small it goes, it goes into a little square. Obviously, it pills the square bulbs. White, red. It's that easy. Great for hunting. White's for looking around, finding your quarry when you've been shooting. Red. Use a red filter and your quarry's not quite as suspicious of you. Then green. That's a good one for tracking. Uh, looking for blood trails and that kind of thing. As simple as that, really. Now, what I'll do, I'll show you some footage at Ashley in Field. And you can make your own minds up. With the torch, you also get an instruction manual, well made, easy to understand. 
And like I say, you just need five minutes just playing around really and you'll learn how all features at Torch. So that's handy. It does tell you one or two little things that you might need to know when you make your purchase. This is it with right tail connected. This is handy for an hunter because it frees your hands up. So you can see red lamp there. You've got a few switches. You've got your on and off, which is your middle button. Just press it. Press it back on. Then you've got your intensity of your beam. So you've got a plus and minus button. So just press that and hold it in. Intensity of beam will intensify. Then again, press your minus button. And you'll see it dim down to virtually nothing. You can still use your tricolour function. So you can switch between all colours. Again, turn it off. Rat tail's a better feature. With your standard end, the on and off button, you have to press it in for a few seconds for it to come on. Now if you're hunting in field, that can be a bit of an hindrance. With this on, and attached to your stock with Velcro, on back, attach it onto your stock, your on off button's instant. Which eliminates that slight gripe, let's say. What have been a nice feature is for him to include a mount. Now, when I'm using IR torches or hunting torches out in field, I use these figure eight clamps. They're sturdy, solid, reliable, but it's simple to do. Wind it back, attach it onto your scope. And you simply, your torch slots in, and you tighten it up. Make sure it's level where you want it, just nip it tight. Here's your rat tail. On, off. Intensify your beam, or wind it back, whichever you want to do. And that, like I said, attach up four end of your stock. Your hands are free, your left hand is naturally like this on your rifle when you're shooting. You can use it with your left hand or you can just reach around with your right. Simple to use, great bit of kit really. Here's a little bit closer look at figure 8 clamp. These figure 8 clamps will fit on almost any, any scope. Got a plastic lens, but that's no issue. It's probably better in the long run to be honest with you because glass can break, it's a bit more fragile. So, less at talking, like I said, we don't need to talk about all specs. You can read manual, you can see plenty of videos on YouTube. So, we'll get straight to field action, and you can make your own mind up.